If you are new to Unreal Engine and game dev in general, you encountered the problem of repeating textures. That is called tiling. Let me show you a genius note in Unreal Engine to help you with the problem if you only can use one texture. Okay, here we have our super simple test setup. I use a normal Megascans texture, nothing fancy, only difference is it's 8K, that's most on accident, but it works with every texture. I show that only with the diffuse just to get the basics um, out of the way. It's super easy. So that's our normal texture setup normal diffuse map a simple constant for the roughness and texture coordinates and the multiply for the tiling so if i put that on four hit apply you can see the texture is tiling four times and that's all good so we can tile it however often we want and it works all of the time but the problem with tiling textures so if i put it on two is obviously you can see the repetition and that's something we want to avoid because it just looks ugly. And there are many methods how you can do that with vertex painting, blending textures together. If you for some reason can only afford one texture in your project, there is an even simpler way. So let's open our other shader and see what we can do about the tiling problem. So as we can see, the shader is not really complicated. Let me maximize the view. We have a constant for the roughness. We have two scalar parameters. To create these, you just hold down S and left click, and then you can give them a name and set a default value. So we have scalar parameters here, two, one for tiling and one for offset and a texture object. A texture object is basically just a texture, you right click it and you convert it to a texture object. If you plug a texture in here, you can't um, combine these. But the main difference here is this node called texture bombing. And texture bombing works together with the two scalar parameters we just created in here. And let's see what it does. So let me apply the material real quick and no change. So let's see what happens if we double the tiling to two. Well, we get double the tiling. Who would have thought? Let's put it to three. And as you can see, we still can see the pattern in the texture really easy. Um, you can see the marks here, but we also have an offset node. And if we change the offset value to maybe something like three point, I don't know, five, six, we can see now the texture is starting to shift. And if we play around with the offset and maybe even with the tiling, we can get a really nice effect of offsetting. So the pattern is not really that recognizable anymore. It's not a perfect fix, but if you can only afford one texture or one material for your project, maybe it's a mobile project, that is a really good fix and it's super easy to do. So make sure to give it a try. And if you're interested in speeding up your workflow in Unreal Engine, make sure to check out this video where I show you a plugin called Dash, which will allow you to create environments in no time.